Uh, I'm Daniele Domenico Delaini. I'm the wine grower at Villa Calicantus, a small winery in the Bardolino wine area, so um, on the northeast of Italy, uh, on the shores of the Lake Garda in Verona. So Daniele, the, the property that you're located in has been in your family for generations, but it was abandoned for a number of years before you came back uh, to, to take it over. Tell us a little bit about uh, the history of the property and uh, how you came to, uh, to have it uh, come back to you. Mm. Uh, but, um, I represent the fourth generation of my family making wine. You know, we were one of the biggest wineries between the, the 30s and the 40s. Then after the death of my grandfather, my family stopped the business in the 80s and they sold most of the vineyards. So what we have now in property is just you know, a, small, a smaller piece of a much, much bigger property. When in 2010, 2011, I started to get into wine, I was working in a, in a, in a bank in, in Paris, uh, but I was bored you know, of, of this kind of job. So at a certain point, I decided to quit the bank. I came back to my little village in northeast of Italy uh, with, uh, um, with a goal. But it's very easy, it's not, nothing new. It means a lot of work in the vineyards to be able to let the vines express themselves at the best. And then in the winery, work as less as possible. So the way I work 85% of my, of, of, of my time in the vineyards and just 15 in, in, the, in the winery. I'm not, you know, a, a winery person. I'm a vine person, I'm a vineyard person. And uh, is um, because in the winery, if you work a lot in the vineyards, you have just to, you know, wait, you know, so you you are trying to um, uh, to let the wine express what the what the vines did you know I mean absolutely and in your area so I mean the predominant grape varieties are Corvina, Rondanella, Molinera um, what is it specifically about the sites that you have the vineyard sites that you have that make them so suited for these grape varieties uh, but historically historically Corvina, Rondinella, Molinara are the, uh, the, the, the the varietals of Verona the province the, the, the city where we are um, where we are in and and uh, the, the this Corvina, Rondinella, Molinara in 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 the Bardolino area in the Bardolino classical this is the ancient part of the Bardolino are producing wines very elegant, fine, uh, low in alcohol, low in body, but if you are able to work well in the vineyards, um, uh, they are producing wines with a, a balance between complexity and, and drinkability that is unique, I think, you know, so. And the area that you're in, uh, when people think of Corvina, Ronda, and Alamona, they also think Valpolicella, sure. but uh, with the Bartolino area being on the uh, eastern shores of Lago di Garda and also, but also west of the Adige River, significantly different than the microclimate that they have in, in Valpolicella. Absolutely, in, in Bardolino is more Mediterranean, so we have the, uh, on one side, the hot influence of the lake uh, that creates a kind of Mediterranean microclimate, um, and on the other side, we have the, the, hot, the cold influence of the Alps. Uh, so that is uh, why Bardolino area has a unique uh, microclimate because it's in, in mostly in September uh, we have uh, hot days and fresh nights and this is the, the, the best thing you can have for 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 the ripening of the of, of the grapes you know so you and see, you get these beautiful winds that come off of uh, this <laughs> cleaning up the, the, the vineyards and so you and so working in in in, in organic or in biodynamic is more easy in, in this way you know it's, uh, because we have these winds little, little winds coming from the from the mountains absolutely we're in montreal at the raw wine festival how does your philosophy in terms of both wine growing fit with this festival and why are you here for this festival? I feel really that they are understanding my wines because even if they are you know very light, very uh, fine, uh, more on the elegance than on the body that sometimes is more, more, more technical maybe, more difficult to understand and here people they, they, they feel they, 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 they are sp uh, sp uh, speaking about my wines like I, I would. I would do it. So you know, it's, it's amazing how 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 I feel. And Raw is the right, you know, is the place where uh, uh, my where, where I want my my wines are. You know, because the because here you can you can have truly true wines from everywhere in the world. True wines, you know, it means no change by uh, techniques or, or by uh, uh, um, chemical products. You know, these are these, these are true wines. Absolutely. Now uh, you've been in Montreal for a few days now. Uh, you've been to some of the restaurants here. Um, do you see 
a greater interest from the industry in these types of wines? Absolutely. Uh, I think, you know, this is the future. I think uh, um, this way of drinking uh, uh, has a huge uh, potential. I mean, uh, people, when they start drinking these kind of wines, cannot get back. Uh, because you feel uh, you feel the grapes, you don't feel the, sh the, the the chemicals. You don't you feel if there's, there's something true, you know, it's like when you are eating something from the garden and from from uh, from the supermarket. <laughs> there's a, a huge difference. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Grazie mille. Grazie veramente.